Hello everyone, this is Charlie from Gimponic. I'm talking to you today about plants and especially how you can set up the automatic dosing for your nutrients and pH for those plants. So here we have a few plants, uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, that are pretty small. So we are in the growing phase and we have here the Green Planet Kit with the water brain that deals with the pH and EC monitoring and also the air monitoring. Uh, first doser here that has four pumps, one for Grow, Micro, Flower, Calmag. This is the Terra Aquatica uh, brand. So the Grow is for the growth of your plant, especially in vegetative states. Uh, the Micro is for uh, your root system. The Bloom is for flowering. Uh, and the calcium magnesium is here because we are using uh, rainwater which has a very low EC so we have to raise that calcium magnesium to um, avoid uh, deficiencies uh, with the plants and here we have the second doser this one is for pH plus and pH minus only you see they have you have two tubes only linked to it so how does it work now uh, to set up the app for uh, auto dosing so First, you'll need the chart from your nutrient provider. And here we have the Terra Aquatica. And it says for each uh, solution, what kind of concentration, what kind of volume uh, you have to dose per liter. So in our case, for the three part grow, which is the first one here, we need 1.8 milliliter per liter. So let's see on the app we'll go into the water pump view and this water pump view shows the first dosing module which is this one which has one two three four ec solution so here we have our first uh, dosing pump which is for uh, the uh, grow vegetative state um, and this is linked to this solution so here our solution type is already EC. We can click and we can select what type of solution is plugged onto uh, this dosing module. So here we already have ZC. We can um, attribute it to pH minus or pH plus or also disable. If we have nothing hooked to uh, the water pump, to this pump, we can put it on disable. It will never turn on. So now I can go back to the water brain part to set up auto dosing on. Now we have a target which is at 1.6 in terms of EC. Here it says 1.3 to 1.8. So I can set it up for to 1.5 for example, which is in the middle. 1.6 is what was great, but it's just for the sake of the demonstration. So here I will just save the new value. It says, okay, I got a new target. I can click on quit and it's going to go back to the main page. So here we have 1.5. Uh, as target we have no value because right now the sensor isn't um, connected to uh, the device and we can set up auto dosing on when sort of auto dosing is on you can see here we have a value at zero for the moment because no sensor and we want to reach a target of 1.5 so it says okay I'm gonna um, inject some nutrients to rise up this AC until I've reached my target and it's gonna do that with all the pump I've set up to EC so each pump will run one after the other and each one will run with the proportion you indicate here so you always have the right balance of nutrients when you have auto dosing on so now I can turn this off because there isn't any sensor and here we can um, go into the pH menu and we can do the same. So for the pH, right now I have 6.2. I can change my target if I want, for example, only 6. I can set it up right here. And same thing, I can turn auto dosing on and quit. And I can see that the auto dosing is now on uh, and it's now pausing and it's waiting for a stable reading to. Uh, do the first dose to reach this target so I can turn it off and that's it with that you have a complete automation for EC and pH and here you got your uh, sensors and also the module for uh, pressurization because when when it does uh, the auto dosing for example those four are EC so the first one we run 
for its dose and the external pump will run for a bit and it will suck water from here and push that wire into the harness go back into the reservoir with pressure it's uh, working like this and the second one will uh, turn and make its dose mix pump again third one mix pump fourth one mix pump etc etc so you always have a gap between uh, each nutrient that is injected so you don't have any risks of bad mix or something like that so that's it for today and uh, see you for another video when we will talk more about hydroponics talk to you soon bye <laughs>